<laughs> Let's try that. Here we go. We. Uh oh. I should have turned off fog. I can't see. Am I still going up? Uh oh. I think, guys. I think I made a mistake. There's a space elevator. I'm flying past it. I can't see anything. I think I made a mistake. I should have saved. <laughs> Mistakes were made. No! My name is Ken, and in this episode, we run a little box site through our train line and build a hypertube launcher. This is part two of episode 27, and a link to episode one is in the description. If you stay to the end, we even get a little time to work on the Scarif base. Did I blast myself into Factorio? You'll have to watch, so let's get started. Welcome to episode 27, part two. And today we are doing two jobs. The first is we're gonna run our first line of bauxite, our first line of anything, through our train blueprint setup. We've got spaces in there for Mark V belts that we can use to transport goods. And we're gonna run the bauxite through there today. So we're gonna do that first. And then what we're gonna do after that is I'm gonna make some hypertube cannons. We'll set that up to launch us from our main base over to, for now, just the base on Scarif, but eventually any base we want to. That base on Scarif is right over there. We can barely see it a little bit. So there we go. So we're gonna build a hypertube cannon that will shoot us over there. Okay, first things first is getting this box site set up and I have a confession to make, we already started. I started right here, brought it down, we're right here, and here's where we are. So, you didn't miss anything. We're just trying to find a way to get this box site over to the train line without looking too, too disgusting while we do it. Okay. We're almost there, we're almost there. Okay, and let's bring him in, like I'm thinking right here. So where do we wanna put him? I think we put him on the top. So that we know exactly where he is. Uh, oh, we need. I want to get killed. Let's change my. There we go. We need this. There's a special blueprint that I made that we need for this. And it is. Belt post. He goes right. He goes right like that. And so this is where we'll hook him in. All right. So let's, I'm not gonna get killed and let's make a merger. And let's get him right on that line. And now we'll do a conveyor floor hole. Let's do it right in the center. Okay, because theoretically you wouldn't really be able to see that anyway because there'd be belts on each side. You know, and that's a little clippy, but it's not too bad. We can actually, well, I won't put those in because it'll look silly if that's the only section where those will put in. And then that goes there. Uh, and then that's that's our floor hole. Okay, perfect. Delete this. We may have to do more than just these two tasks. But we'll figure it out. There goes our box site. Now let's fix this hole. Needs to be that color. And here's our bauxite. All right. 
Now let's run it, baby. And then we will need to go through and I do want to delete the old box sight line. Get it so that we don't have to look at it anymore. But now that we have this train station, we're going to be, or this train line, we're going to be putting a lot of materials through this. A lot of sulfur. I'm going to use all the bauxite and sulfur on the map. And all the oil. But that's, th those are going to go through the pipes that I have underneath this. Oh no, we're out of aluminum sheets. I wonder which base we're closer to. <laughs> let's uh, let's head back and then then we'll build. There's actually work to do over there. We'll build out the. Yeah, I see you, buddy. Ooh, can we hitch a ride? Ha <laughs> ha. But yeah, we'll build the output for for the for the box site line for this. I love my train line. All right, let's get some aluminum sheets and we need a lot, so. Okay, we, here's the box site. The box site comes in right here. So it's right here, right? It's empty because we broke it. And really he comes down. So let's, let's maybe, let's break him here. We're gonna go down and we're gonna, we're gonna run him down here. Let's put him in before we get to the trains. I don't I don't want to like have it in the way of the of the actual trains. We really actually I actually don't want to clip into those pipes. So But I So I get to choose. Do I clip into the pipe or do I clip into the train? I guess we clip into the pipes that aren't built there. Right on the edge there, we're gonna put us, give ourselves smart splitter. Is that right? I think that's right. Okay, hopefully I brought enough and we're just gonna run this out. And then we're going to go clean up our old mess. And then this task that I've been putting, oh my God, that I've been putting off for a few streams will be done. And then we'll be able to make all of our, you know, in the future when we need items, this is how, you know, we have the infrastructure set up to do this. All of our aluminum production is totally toast right now. But that's okay. We are getting, we gotta be getting close where we left off. There we are. Here we go. Boom. Here goes our box site. Uh, okay, let's head over here and we'll delete our old line. Get it out of sight. Is that it? Yep, we can grab some nuts. I haven't grabbed any nuts in quite a while. Ugh, Chuck never gets old. I tried to hide these somewhat. <laughs> but now I, I got it. Hopefully they're not so hidden that I can't get to them. I think so, because I built them, right? We're almost done. Almost done. Then we're going to build a hop -a tube cannon. And that's going to be fun. All right. This, this box site line, he's been with us for, I don't know, six weeks. He's gone. Bye-bye. All set. And then let's check on 
our aluminum make sure that things are flowing i'll show you guys the aluminum portion of the plant we we haven't like looked at this in god knows how long but uh it's pretty simple i would actually suggest anybody you know want to could do oh there's a problem we're not getting any bauxite okay so let's go fix this what there's our problem Close one there. Do we have any bauxite in there? No, we do not. Oh, what happened? What had happened was... Oh, I built a smart splitter. I'm a moron. That's what happened. Not a smart splitter. We want a conveyor splitter. And we want to control replace. There we go. Okay, now let's go check out the aluminum factory now that the bauxite is actually flowing. You going in there? There we go. Okay, so this is this whole setup here is designed for a full Mark IV belt of bauxite. So uh, 480. Okay, because you got 120 per minute on these times four, there's your 480. And you get the aluminum solution out here. I know a lot of people have a problem with aluminum and it's a little complicated, but it's not too bad if you just take it step by step. This aluminum solution, it comes out and goes into two more. And then we also have silica that comes out of here that gets used elsewhere. And then inputs coal and this aluminum solution into two and, and it's and it's perfect, right? Because 240 aluminum solution per minute times two is 480 aluminum solution per minute. And we're making 120 times four, so that's 480. So it's the perfect amount. And then you get over here, the part that throws people is you have to get rid of this water. But all I did is just recycle it back into here and I put a valve on that restricted the flow to one way, okay? So a valve just makes it one way. And so this stuff has to get pushed through here. And then it goes in and it and it powers all of, of this water. And then the, the, the rest of the water that comes in down below, it is the difference between the amount of water I need and the amount of water we're getting out of out of this backflow. So that's that's the part that throws people a lot is how to deal with this i've seen so many like super complicated solutions and this is all you need just just throw it back into the line and build these backwards see they're backwards from each other the the refineries the the fronts of these go into the back of those and then the back then the front of these go into the back of those it's just a circle so don't overcomplicate it. All you gotta do is put a valve here to make sure that you're flowing in that direction and you're good to go. Anyway, out comes aluminum scrap. And the aluminum scrap comes over here into the foundries, okay? Right here, it's just coming up right here. Goes into these foundries along with silica. And that's one of the things we do with that extra silica that comes out over there, it should be Oh, I feed it all the way around, but basically the silica is, is coming through here and then it goes into the foundry and out comes aluminum ingots and then the aluminum ingots, they have two jobs. They get made into aluminum casing with these constructors. That's super easy, barely an inconvenience. And then the aluminum ingots get combined with copper ingots to make the alkaline aluminum sheets and you're done. It's not that hard. It's, it's no biggie. Okay, let's take care of a tiny little task. We need to fix our blueprint and then we'll clear this blueprint and we'll make our hypertube cannon. And here's our boy. This is the sorter for the, the remote item delivery system. And any items go into that hole and they get sorted, except I made a mistake and I put motors in twice and I did not put rotors in. 
So this is the motors that should have been rotors. Okay, he's fixed. And then we've got that box in for a catch-all of anything that isn't set in the programmable splitter. And we're just gonna go over here and save this and we're done. Now we are gonna build a hypertube cannon. But here's the deal. If I lay out the hypertube cannon in a straight line this way, it's not it's not long enough to do what we need to do and i don't want to have to build two i want to one click one click this 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 you know what so i might put it in a building so that i can just throw the building down yeah <laughs> we're gonna make a little building that's a hypertube cannon launcher all right so let's do this yeah and then we do this I think this is all we need to do. I've actually, like I said, I've never built one of these. So we're gonna, we're gonna test and see. How much power this gives us. This is not going to be enough. I, I already know. Well, actually, I don't know, but it seems like not going to be enough. And then make sure they're all going the same direction. And then let's make a, a room for one more. No. So then this boy has to be our. Noodle. He's our launcher. Okay, then what are we gonna do for power? Rubber. Uh, I kinda just want one pull, so let's go get some rubber. Let's build ourselves a little outlet. Hey, here's the first tester. I'll tell you what we're going to do before I forget. We're going to put that backpack on. For sure. We're for sure. Yeah, let's save this. I want like a, a big enough area where we will build all of our hypertube cannons, not just should have left some space. You know what? I got an idea. Yes, if I remember correctly, and I always do, I moved these to 50% on the ends so that it would be it would be even. But we actually don't need that. So what would we do? Well, we can make a little space and we're going to by changing this to 100% and changing this to 100% and then deleting these two. All right, we got a little hypertube launchy area. We even have power. And I don't know if this is enough room, but it's enough room for now. So let's give it a try. All right, and then let's uh, change our nose here. That looks good. I, I don't think this is going to be nearly enough power. I think we need to like double this, but I want to see. 
There we go. All right, let's check. Safety check, boys. Is our parachute packed? Yeah, we got the jet pack. Okay. We didn't make any extra health potions, but that's okay. Here we go. Well, you know, listen, the Wright brothers, they, they didn't, um, they didn't, they didn't fly the first time either. Okay. So I don't want to hear it. Okay. I guess we'll try it again. I don't know why that didn't work. Okay. Let's try it again. Whee. Okay. So we got about one, <laughs> one third of the way, like one, like not even one quarter of the way there. But I think if I remember correctly, that it's sort of exponential but we have to at least double. Okay, <laughs> so back to the drawing board. We'll get, we'll get back to Kitty Hawk here in a, in a, in a bit. We're gonna triple it. This, this may shoot us into, I don't know, the underworld or something, but, but it is gonna be what it's gonna be. What do we want? That looks good to me. That's oh, way easier to build in this direction. And then this better be our launcher. Okay, and now we gotta put in all of these. Okay, let's try this. And then when we get this dialed in, we'll build this another one over at the other base so that we can just fire launch back and forth. Okay, so let's delete the blueprint by switching to blueprint delete mode, which is R, blueprint's dead. We built him outside of the blueprint. Oh, there you go, buddy. I heard I heard him moaning like a ghost. Case industrial beams. Why? How? That's silly. All right, let's point this a little better. Gotta be the sharp turn. Okay, let's try it again. What is the problem? Everything is working until the final. <laughs> let's try that. <laughs> can't see. Am I still going up? Uh oh, I think, guys, I think I made a mistake. There's a space elevator. I'm flying past it. I think I made a mistake. I should have saved. No! I can't see anything. I should have turned off fog. <laughs> Mistakes were made. I don't know if I'm, if I'm, going up or going down <laughs> okay let's turn on let's turn off fog so we can see uh r dot fog oh no we're coming down okay uh equals zero or just zero i can't remember okay good hey, hey we're headed back to the base how did that happen <laughs> i don't know what the hell happened <laughs> okay so <laughs> so so we we went a little too far we went a little too far. Wow, I can't believe we ended up exactly where we started though. Okay, so. <laughs> That's a little too much. Let's cut some out of the loop here, okay? Wow. <laughs> we have fog off now. So, 
we'll be able to see a little bit better. But let's cut. Let's see, how many did I add? I added one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's cut four out. And it worked when we deleted this end guy. We just had a little phalange sticking up. Okay, and now, let's turn on my light. So we deleted these. We don't need any of this. Uh, we do need that guy. We don't need this guy. I think I might have turned my own momentum around because I was freaking out and didn't want to die. Maybe. Okay, we reduced it by four. We have fog off now. Let's do our safety check. Let's put the right pack on. Let's connect. All right. Okay. Are we ready? Now, the problem with turning fog off is that my computer has a whole hell of a lot more to render, but we'll see if she can handle it. Here we go. This is very a different speed. Like, this is very different. I don't know how that happened. Let's, I guess, add two more. Okay, let's give him power. There's our two. Uh, let's double check. Okay. I will just sprint forward. I mean, I do not know what happened with that other one. I mean, this is pretty close. Oh, but we actually don't want to go there. So let's let's add one more. Okay, let's give it a try. And then we're just, I'm just running. No slide jumping, nothing. I still have my jetpack on. Yes. Here we go. Well, I got good news and bad news. The good news is we made it. The bad news is I blew all my fuel. <laughs> Thank God for passive mode. Yes, so I'm going to build one to shoot myself back. But I think that we do actually need more power. This is just going to be a temporary one. We'll find a a permanent place for this later. I wonder if I'm going to hit that ring. Oh my God, I might hit that ring. We're going to find out. Okay, no slide jumping, just sprinting. Here we go. Looks good to me. It is really high though. Really high. Too high. Is there something between? The power is good though. We've nailed in the power. So I think we just have to remove one. And then maybe, okay, so. Well, I'm not even gonna put that in the blueprint because that, the, the exit nozzle has to be done individually. Okay. One, two, three, uh, one, two. All right, and I saved. 
So we're good there. And I have the right jetpack on. I guess I have less of a running start, though. Guess it doesn't matter. I mean, this is pretty good. But it's definitely less powerful. I mean, this is pretty good. I, I'm... This is, this is gonna work. And here's our little... Boop. The little landing area. That's, that's pretty damn good. I, I don't think we're gonna get better than that. So... Let's... Do what I did before, and I did three up and back to uh, one more notch. One, two, three, one, two. That's exactly what I did before. Now this one, he's got an extra one on him. He doesn't have this one removed. I removed this one in the blueprint. So with that angle change, let's see. Let's see how we do. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to remove the end. All right, let's try this again. It was a fix miss miracle. We're definitely not as high as we were before. We were really high before. I mean, this is like bang on. I, I'm done. This this is work. This is it. I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna finish the blueprint. We know we know what power we want. I'm gonna go ahead and keep the power on. Mm, I'm gonna actually put that back. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna add it because it, it's easy, it'll be easier to take it away if we need to take it away. The biggest problem I think was the fog. I couldn't see to direct my path. So so we're gonna put this back and we're gonna resave it. And then I'm going to replace him with a wall. Wait, I don't have Mark three. Are there Mark three wall outlets? All right, small oversight on my part. I thought we bought everything. Well, let's do a, a discount double check and let's make sure. I'll buy that stuff later. We, and we do have a boom box somewhere. And I got a coffee cup. Okay, that was like the only thing I forgot. All right, bro. The reason I wanna do this is so that I can make these more compact and maybe stack them on top of each other. So they're not spread out all over the place. Okay, looks good. Now, button this baby up. Let's go ahead and put a door in in case we need to access. Cool. Now, what happens if we put a foundation on this? Yeah, the nubby stick up. So, what we need is. Just a tiny bit more space. And then we can just build the nozzle whatever we we need to. And then I want to build a switch. 
We just need a regular switch. We don't need priority power switch. Okay, let's do something. Is this necessary, what I'm about to do? In no way is what I'm about to do necessary at all. Am I gonna do it anyway? You're damn right I am. There we go. Not enough to see by. Okay. Then we can we can literally just stack them up and build like maybe railings to give a give us our running start. Whatever we need. Now we are gonna remove one from here. Remember? I think this works. We have a little more space. Let's put it there. One, two, three, one, two. Okay, and then we get rid of this. And we do need need to remove one. All right. This is a lot faster than using the zip line. I think I'm going to build this up on that little platform. Or at least inside. And then we'll... Yeah, we got room up here. Okay, so the one downside is, is that now this... I don't know if I can keep this because now it looks like this building has an erection, uh, a little one, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's fine. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I, I'm going to let it go for now. Uh, let's, let's hook some power up to this. I have full health. All right, let's see if we make it back to base. Looks good to me. Oh, I'm wearing the uh, wrong. Um, uh oh. There we go. I mean, this is almost exactly perfect. Gotta slow down a little. Guys, I think our hypertube cannons are done. They're done! Okay. Sweetness. Let's work a little bit. Let's, let's do it. Let's work a little bit on the base. The Scarif base. Let's see if we can get the trains because I don't know you know what we need we need a way to get up there now So let's build that first There Now this guy and then I just want to build a node Halfway down Over here so that I can get up here using this bad boy Let's bring some items that we need. What are we going to build over there? We're going to build a lot of train stations, hopefully. Okay, so train station, like six of them, freight platform, 49 of them, or actually 42 for now. A lot of railway. I can't remember what railway is. It's okay, pipe and beam. So, okay, let's. Let's bring with us what we can and then what else whatever else we need we'll use our shiny new you know item delivery tool. I got to make a softer landing. But, you know, 
All we need is a little skill. All right. And then let's see what see if we have what we need. I wish I could sort this by alphabetical aluminum sheet delivery. Okay, cool. So those deliveries will run while we work. And what are we doing? Basically, what I want to determine today is whether or not we need to split these train lines into two levels. Okay. What does that mean? Well, I guess the first step is defining our footprint. How far out can we go? So that's the thickness. So let's build this out. And then I'm gonna, I'm basically gonna just throw in the skeleton part of the footprint here so that we can know. I mean, there's so much room here. There's so much room. We'll get the train stations in. Like it's, it's gonna happen. Cool, now let's do it the other side and then we'll connect them and then we'll have our footprint at the bottom at least. The tower will get skinnier and skinnier as we go up. Okay, now I wanna connect a beam. I wanna connect one of these from there all the way over to that corner. And that's gonna be pretty funny because but it should work we're gonna put center to center and then I'm gonna I'm right at the limit of my pack and then I'm going to freeform and now I'm gonna keep it clicked and I'm gonna run all the way over to the other side and I'm gonna look at the place that I want it to connect to and the freeform mode will snap to it as if it was that long okay and I want to go center to center I'm gonna look right at this bad boy right in the center boom now we have to run all the way back <laughs> Uh, this is how we're going to build our Star Destroyer with the very tiny angles, very slight angles over long distances. It's it's this kind of stuff. We got here almost as soon as the, as soon as the materials did. That's all we needed him for. All right, let's see if this worked. I always doubt that it's gonna work and then it always works perfectly. Can't complain. So that's our footprint. Can we fit the trains in here? And I think the answer is yes. So let's, ooh, let's not build this. This is the slow way. What are these, two meters? Let's build this the fast way. I don't have one built, so I gotta make it, but it'll be worth it. Because we'll use it for more than just this. I love that sound. So this one goes on. The first one's a little bit tougher to place. Got him. And then, and now, uh, what's the button on my, there we go. And then we change the default mode. Yeah, blueprint mode, not oh, default mode. And we build like there's no tomorrow way faster than Zoop. Uh, 
So here's the deal. We have to not only pick up water bottles, we have to drop off empty water bottles. Um, and we're done here. That's we're done. It's actually might not fit. Uh, we just have to lay it out. How much room do we really have here? Because I'm afraid it's not enough. Train stations are fat, fat boys. And we need 12 rows of them with enough room to turn around. I just don't see that happening. Damn. How much space do we need to turn a train? That's actually not really the question. Question is how... There's not gonna be enough space. This is insane. Why am I trying to do this, you guys? I'm just throwing this guy down. And... Yeah, I mean, that's... We can't. It's not gonna work. All right, let's try it. Let's try back a whole bot. And that's probably gonna be too much. Because I need a I need to do a right hand turn. But I don't want to waste any space. It's actually really close. It's basically bang on. Yeah. I mean we've got a little more room there, but that that's about it. I mean this ain't gonna work. There's not enough room there. We can get rid of that. That's not, but this is only four. Yeah, we're gonna have to two floor this. Because that's only two of them. Or what's six look like? Four, five. Right? We we have we have enough room for half. So we have enough room for the drop off. But we're going to have to bring them down and give up this much space down there. Okay. We can actually start dropping right away. Nothing else under there. I mean, nothing we can't move. You can move that stuff. You know, we can make that go around, so I don't care about that. Uh, let's get some double ramp in here. Yeah, how's our height? Okay, perfect. We make it. Just barely. Okay, so here's our height. Here's our new height. Perfect. This will give us just a little bit more room and because at this point I don't want to take any chances. How do we get the trains from one level to the next level? Go out one more. Yeah, I think we do. So the problem that we're trying to solve is I'm trying to build a stupid amount of, of trains. Because I want to move 32,000 water bottles per minute over trains. And it's not very smart. But I'm going to try. That looks really cool. So, in order to move that amount... We have our lines already. They're right here. Oh, actually, funny thing is, these don't go down. Actually, these go up. We don't even have to move that. Okay, these will go up. Those are going to be on our second floor. How 
How many can we fit this way? Take them right up on the edge. Yeah, I might have to make them longer. I mean, I won't even be able to fit them this way. I mean, maybe. How many do I got? One, two, three. I only have four. <laughs> I can fit maybe a fifth one. Maybe, 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 maybe. Uh, so big. Okay, let's work the math a little bit. I could do four. I was originally going to do four with 11 trains long. With 11 cars. Because instead of six with seven. Because we need to move. We have 42 belts worth, okay? I did do that by six times seven, right? That's what I was going to do. That's not going to work. Not even if we split it into two floors. It's just not going to work. We could. I think we can make four work. So if we do four, then we would have, or we could do two 11s and a 10. So if we do that, that means we only need four. And that means two of them only need to be 11 long. The real trick is going to be, how do we get them? I'm just, I'm just kind of just knocking these in right here. So there's our four and they're offset by one. That's one freight car. Two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. We have the, okay, we have space. All right, we, we have space. Ten. Okay, that works. We can do that and we'll have enough. So let's, let's chop it in the middle. Okay, who's in the middle? Where's our, our middle is this right here. Here's middle again. And we get to do one last car. Oh, we can't do that though. Uh, what is that? We move it back half of, move it back half. Yeah, that's halfway. All right, and then this one goes here, and oh my gosh, we're so most out of space. I mean, I don't know how I'm going to get these guys to go up to the next floor, but, you know. <laughs> this is half of our train stations. <laughs> and I just don't see how that is never going to work never 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 so we have plenty of space over here we can make it bigger we could just make it bigger than it's supposed to be I mean, we're close. We're really close. I mean, why don't we just make it an entire train length bigger than it's supposed to be? Deeper. And say that this, you know, I mean, this is what we need. So we're going to expand this beast. I mean, that's kind of why I'm doing this right now. Before I build it out so that there's time. So, yeah, we're just going to we're just going to make make it bigger. We're going to move everything down. We like that. I think we like that. I think that's uh, tight as she goes. And other ones would hook. I don't know. We think that's too close. No, that'll work, won't it? I don't know. I've never run train lines that close. Uh, let's. It'll probably it probably work. So this should have power, and we'll see if 
I can run the one past the other one without it crashing. I think it's going to be fine. Come on in there, buddy. Auto save. Really auto save? Wow. What a blue ball auto save. I can't believe it. No, don't tell me I crashed. I crashed. I crashed. Yay! So good news in two areas. The autosave managed to make it through before we crashed. And those trains will not collide. Cool. So let's bang in the other four. And then let's just make sure that I can theoretically get them to work. So it would it'd look something like this. Get a, did I get straight or is there a little wiggle? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah, I think I got it straight. Okay, let's hook these back up to power and then I will park two. I'll park another train right on the curve here and right here. Yeah, because I might I might crash. I don't know. Let's just let's just see. Thread this needle, bro. Looks good to me. So we're going to have a whole nother set of stations above. I just want to see if this is like even remotely freaking possible. So what could we do? We can make the little ones go to the big ones and the big ones go to the little ones. That would give us the most space. We have to get. Oh, God. No, we have to get this train. Okay, we could do this. Guys, this is doable. This is doable. If I just keep saying it up to there. So we just have to get there slower by curving out here. That's all we have to do. So really what we need to do is we need to start the two meter ramp right away. Yeah, this is much more what we need to do. Hey, I mean, that works. And then this one goes in that train station that we haven't built yet. Uh, the one that would go right like here. And then the one that would go like here is that one over there. But we have more room like we bring them out. OK, we got that. This will work. This will work. Yeah, and then he's up in this train station. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, this, 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 we got this. I'll figure it out. We're, we're close on this. We're close. And then once we get our train, I want to build the train stations and get everything in and maybe even testing it a little bit before we build the rest of this because it would be really stupid of us to build this entire factory if we cannot get the trains working that this factory depends on. So the trains, the trains are gonna go first. Well, that's what we're gonna work on next week. That's it for me, guys. Good night, thank you for watching. We broke the new record tonight. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys next week. That is it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I finally got a plan for fitting all 96 train, freight, and blank stations into the Scarif base. In episode 28, we put that plan into action and even get a wall up or two on that monstrosity of a water packaging facility. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. If I cut out anything you wanted to see, the link for the full VOD for this episode is in the description. And if you want to watch me blast myself into coffee stained studios in real time, Look for my live streams right here on YouTube. That's it for now. Until next time.